Hello, I'm Steve Fullen, and here's another weird week from Newslight TV. This week, lap it up, flap it up, get it up. But we start with spray-on clothes. This is Fabrican, literally fabric in a can. Uh, you spray it on your body and then it forms clothes. That you can wear, take off, wash, wear again. <gasps> but how does it work, Steve? Well, I'll tell you. Don't really understand, but I'll pretend. Inside each can, there is cotton fibers, there are binding polymers, of course we know, and a solvent, which of course makes all of that liquid. Now, when you spray it on your body, your body temperature evaporates the liquid. So all you're left with is those cotton fibers. You've got clothes all of a sudden. The only slight glitch here is, of course, it's skin tight, which means you've got to have a perfectly toned body to make it work. Um, we're already uh, ordering several cans, as I'm sure you can imagine. Uh, on top of that, and nobody's explained this bit yet, presumably you have to have a waxed body because if you sprayed it onto your body, surely the hairs are gonna. Do you it's gonna smart, isn't it? That, that's bait, like waxing your whole. <sighs> Darling, are you coming to bed? Yeah, I'll just take my. <laughs> Spray on clothes again. Yes! Now, how did you get hold of this copy of Weird Week? Uh, are you streaming it on the internet now? Have you downloaded it? Am I sitting nestled in your hand? Strong hands. If a little bit grubby. Whatever way, chances are it involves broadband. But if you live in an area with rural broadband, your speed of connection is probably so slow that you've only just managed to download the episode of Weird Week where I tell you, oh, somebody's invented a hovercraft. So, campaigners in the UK who want better broadband for rural areas decided to do this. Pitch a computer against a pigeon. What they did is they took a video, a five minute video, put it on a USB stick, attached it to the leg of a homing pigeon. Uh, they then set the pigeon off. At the same time that the pigeon left, they started uploading the same video to YouTube. Right, when the pigeon arrived, about 80 minutes later, I think it did about 120K. The computer had only uploaded 24% of that five minute video. Case proven, in rural areas, you're better off sending stuff by pigeon than actually using your computer. Although, I think that's actually quite a nice idea. No, but really, imagine you're sitting at your desk and instead of getting sent emails, a pigeon suddenly arrives. Like something out like of Harry Potter, but cheaper. A, a pigeon arrives carrying, I don't know, a video of a kitten playing a piano. It's a lovely idea. Although, if our broadband is anything to go by, if you sent anything by pigeon, your pigeon would actually only get 95% of the way there most of the time before dying. And then you'd have to start again entirely with a fresh pigeon, so... Police cars. They're fast. They're sexy. But they're rubbish at going off-road. Apart from if you work for the police force in Lincolnshire, who now have this beauty. A police tractor. It's a proper tractor, five ton, top speed, 25 miles an hour. Presumably designed to harvest the criminality of the area. Uh, I really don't know what, what use it is. Maybe they just fancy driving a tractor. Who doesn't? Maybe they've also got their own police forklift truck. I've always wanted to Maybe their own police JCB. Uh, so yes, this is the police tractor. Uh, only really good if you're trying to track a pigeon who is illegally downloading music. Oi! There's a new book out about the history of the UK's secret intelligence service, MI6, as we now know it. Uh, it's fascinating reading, particularly the bit which goes back to the First World War, where they discuss different ways of creating invisible ink. And do you know what the best invisible ink at that time that they found? semen. 
Yeah, you heard me. Uh, so, though, uh, rather brilliantly, this was discovered in the diary of the deputy head of MI6, or whatever it was called then, uh, a man called Mr. Cumming. And no sniggering at the back. So he he discovered that you could... I don't know how... Darling, what are you doing? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm inventing invisible ink. All over that page. Yes. Yes, I'm... No, I'm writing, ooh, writing in it. So yeah, he discovered this invisible ink and uh, we'll call it ink from now on, shall we? So the benefits of the ink are that apparently it doesn't get detected by the usual methods, whatever they might be, presumably they don't include smelling or licking pages. The usual methods of discovering invisible ink. Uh, also, of course, it's pretty readily available in the field or in the loo or the bedroom. So yes, there you are. Back in the First World War, they had a... Do you know that would make a, a, a far more interesting Bond movie? Because they're struggling to finance it at the moment. Maybe they, you know, just saying. James Bond, licensed to spill. Definitely shaken, not stirred. Now, gentlemen, if you want to appear more attractive to the opposite sex. New research from psychologists show that all you need to do is relax, be less stressed. Apparently, men who exhibit less stress levels are significantly more attractive to women. Uh, to be fair, there was a lot more detail in this report that we were going to tell you about, but we, we're so relaxed here, we couldn't really be bothered to read it all. And then, you know, think about how to write it in a script and say it. I mean, do you, do you care? You look pretty chilled as well. I mean, you know, no worries. Doesn't matter, does it? Uh, I mean, they did send us a picture. We, we don't know what the picture means, but here's, here's the picture they sent us. Uh, presumably, that means women prefer men who aren't stressed, but are completely dismembered, which is fine. Doesn't freak us out, because we're Now, we like our animal stories on Weird Week. We also like our world records. So since the new Guinness World Records book is out, we figured we'd combine the two. So let's meet the dog with the longest tongue. Brilliant. Uh, this is Puggy, a 10-year-old Pekingese from Texas. That tongue is four and a half inches. That's over 11 centimeters, nearly the same length as his body. That's a massive tongue. That dog goes to lap up some water, he might drown himself. Also, we have the longest snake in captivity. This is a reticulated python called Fluffy from Columbus Zoo in Powell in Ohio, who measures over 24 feet, that's 7.3 meters, and weighs 220 pounds. Next. The fastest time by a dog to pop a hundred balloons. I don't know, maybe there's not much to do in Ohio because this is where the record takes place. Let's meet said dog. This is Anastasia. Actually, come back. She's changed quite a lot, don't you think? Since she went to I'm a love. No, it's. This is Anastasia. A uh, feisty little Jack Russell Terrier who popped a hundred balloons in just 44.49 seconds. That's more than two balloons a second. Anastasia's talent for popping balloons was apparently discovered at a New Year's Eve party. Presumably a very noisy, and mildly irritating and frenetic uh, New Year's Eve party, but nonetheless, what an awesome record. And it's also in there the oldest gorilla, uh, the longest rabbit, the oldest sheep and so on. Uh, one of my favourites though, the smallest cow! Here's the smallest cow. Uh, this is just 33 inches from hind to foot, despite being fully grown. It's a bit of a worrying photograph, though, but they've sent us, don't you think? Please tell me those two aren't a couple. Otherwise, I think they might have another world record on their hands. And a lot of invisible ink. That's your lots. I've been Steve Holland. Get more weird news across the week at newslight.tv.